Hi guys. Hi. Did you want me or not? I always do this pastor for you. Oh, all right. All right. I'm, I'm in charge, really. But my mom thinks she is, but yeah. So I want you to know we've met before, I know. Right? <laughs> I forgot. I <laughs> forgot. I did. I meet a lot of people, so I'm sorry. I am too. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, it's right oh, here. What is it? I wrapped it. Oh. You can open it. Okay. It's, yeah. Oh. It's a penguin. <laughs> and, yeah, and I want you to take it with you. I will. And I want you not to keep it at your house. But okay. Keep it where we're... Well, Pine Street, okay, put it up. Yeah. Promise? Yeah. Okay, I okay. heard you. All right. Can I, can I keep it in my car window, maybe? No, I didn't have that in mind. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Pine Street, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess. Boys and girls, this is my friend, and her name is Pastor Mayer, and she's going <coughs> to talk to you. I want you to give your full attention. Thank you very much. All right, yeah. Well, I think, I don't remember if I met any of you guys last year. I don't remember. But anyway, hello. Huh? Hi. Hi. And I'm, I'm he, uh, somebody who uh, works with people who don't have very much. Huh? So I tend to talk about that a little bit so we can remember how much we actually have, how rich we are. Huh? So does anybody have a backpack here? Anybody own a backpack, like something you wear on your back with your... Th oh, yeah. Yeah, I see. Most people, except that little baldy over there, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, the people that I work with, believe it or not, okay, they own, sometimes they own, if they're lucky, they have a backpack. But imagine this. Imagine taking everything you know that you have, everything you own, rather, and your toys and everything. Could you fit it in your backpack? Everything, right? Your clothes, everything. Well, they don't have very much, so they can fit everything they own in their backpack, which means they don't own very much, huh? It's pretty, pretty meager. And the other thing that's very interesting, because we have so much, is that how many people have a fridge here? Some place they go and get a snack or drink. Yeah, most people have a fridge. You know, and you can go in and out of it yourself? Yeah. Well, they don't have a fridge. They don't have a place to go for snack or drink. It's, it's very interesting because it's very different than us. And how many people have a door on their bathroom? You have a door on your bathroom? Yeah, so you can have some privacy, close the door if you want. Huh? Well, they don't have a bathroom. They don't have their own private bathroom with a door. So it's very hard on them, actually. And sometimes people think people that look kind of uh, not dressed very well or they look dirty, uh, they forget they don't have their own bathroom, you know. And sometimes those people haven't washed very well, so they even kind of smell a little stinky, right? Like we do when we don't wash too much either, huh? But we forget they don't have their own bathroom, so of course they're going to smell a little stinky, just like we would. Uh, how many people here have a bed, their own bed? Oh, I do too, yeah. It's pretty wild. And do you have like <coughs> pillows and maybe a good blanket or some toys on the bed? Yeah, I have like a little pig pillow. I love it. I love holding it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody always wants to talk about their bed usually. <laughs> anyway, but the people that I work with don't have their own bed. They don't have a blanket like that or a pillow that's cozy. They lie frequently, they lie on a mat on the floor to sleep with 150 other people. So it's very busy and packed. So it's very different and, and it's hard. So uh, the reason I tell you is because we need to remember. We do, and so I'm gonna ask you two things. I might have asked this before, but I can never ever ask it enough. When you go home and you open your fridge or you close your bathroom door, you say, thanks God, thanks God. This is great. This is great. 
And you may forget what I even say, but maybe you remember a little bit. Just thanks, Mom and Pop. This is great. And the other thing is before you go to sleep, if you can remember, you just say a little prayer for the people who don't have that and are having a hard time in the world. Because it matters. Your prayers are powerful. They're very powerful. Sometimes we don't see the results right away, but they're powerful. You're a powerful bunch. You've got bright lights shining, really, like bulbs, 100 watt bulbs, much bigger. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a good day.